the city of Toronto has decided to increase the land transfer tax on luxury properties and in this video I'm going to go through the numbers and see what kind of impact it's gonna have on real estate market in Toronto hey everyone this is Ari Armani Toronto real estate agent and I decided to put out this video because yesterday a colleague of mine was asking me uh, what kind of impact do I expect to see on Toronto real estate market uh, because of that increase in land transfer taxes well let's take a look at the news and then I'm gonna take you through the numbers and tell you what I think is going to happen in Toronto real estate market all right as you can see Toronto unveils new housing taxes and revenue strategies to address funding shortfall so what kind of funding shortfall did we have let's take a look at the news here the city is facing an estimated 1.5 billion dollars shortfall for the 2024 operating budget and an estimated 29.5 billion is needed for the 10-year capital plan okay these are not small numbers so let's take a look at the rest of the news both included in the 46.5 billion shortfall identified over the next 10 years all right let's go through the land transfer tax section one of the key changes is the approval of the graduated municipal land transfer tax or called MLTT rate for residential properties valued at $3 million and above. Okay, so now we know that they're considering anything above $3 million to be considered uh, basically luxury property in Toronto. All right, that kind of makes sense. Uh, beginning January 1st, 2024, this new tax structure will apply varying rates based on property value. Homes valued up to $4 million will incur a 3.5% tax, while properties up to $5 million will be taxed at 4.5%. For homes up to $10 million, a 5.5% tax rate will, will apply and increasing to 6.5% for properties up to $2 million. And finally, Homes exceeding $20 million will face a 7.5% tax. All right, so far you know what's going on and what kind of tax bracket each price point should expect to see. Now I'm gonna tell you what I think about the land transfer tax increases and what kind of impact it's gonna have in Toronto real estate market. Let's take a look at these numbers together. In order to help you see my point, I decided to pull the number of sold properties from the August 1st, 2023 till September 1st, 2023. In the city of Toronto, which is 416 area, the total properties sold were 1966, so a slightly less than 2,000 sales, home sales, in the city of Toronto from August 1st till end of August. Now let's read the number of luxury properties together. Number of homes sold between three to four million dollars was 23 homes. Homes between four to five million dollars were eight. Homes between five to 10 million dollars were 10. Homes between 10 to 20 million dollars were zero. And homes sold above 20 million dollars again were zero. Now, if you look at the percentage, the number between the homes that are quote unquote luxury homes above three million dollars compared to the other homes that were sold in the 416 area in the city of Toronto from 1st of August till the end of August you see the number is approximately 2% 2% of the homes sold in the city of Toronto are falling within the category of luxury homes or over $3 million homes now I'm gonna answer three questions first question is that is it gonna affect the Toronto real estate market in general my answer is no the second question is that is it going to affect you as an average consumer meaning an average home buyer or seller my answer is no unless you're dealing with properties let's say for example buying or selling properties about three or four million dollars the third question is that is it really going to help with the budget shortfalls my answer is maybe slightly all right if this video brought any value to you please share it with your friends and subscribe to my channels or if you need to book a consultation meeting with me you can use the link down below or send me an email i wish you a great day bye